School starting up soon. The fight over the governor's mask mandate ban is heating up. Local 10's Eden Checkle is in the newsroom with more. Calvin Nicole, state officials now threatening to withhold the salaries of superintendents and school board members who defy the governor's executive order. Now that order also threatens to take away funding from school districts that force students to wear a mask. Florida Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Freed, who has been highly critical of the governor, believes the choice should be up to local school boards. This comes as students speak up about the choice to mask up. 12 year old Duval County student Lilla Hartley spoke with Freed and is worried that her younger brother will get sick at school. It's authoritarian. It's either his way or the highway and at the expense of our children. You're not hurting the school board members by taking away funding. You're hurting Lila and her friends. The president of the United Teachers of Dade reacting tonight and she did not hold back. He's fighting us against protecting our kids. We think that not only is this irrational, but it's irresponsible. And we don't understand why he is polarizing our community, why he's playing political games with our children when all we want is our safety. We deserve better than this. Miami-Dade County Superintendent Alberto Carvalho also reacting tonight. He said in a statement, quote, at no point shall I allow my decision to be influenced by a threat to my paycheck. A small price to pay considering the gravity of this issue and the potential impact to the health and well-being of our students and dedicated employees. At least five counties have instituted mask mandates, including Brown, Broward County, rather, and so we will be watching this one closely.